Toki, toki. Now. As I may have mentioned, my cute, uh, cozy Erin cave is being temporarily dismantled. So, as the housing authority is going to replace the floor and wallpaper and whatnot, which is desperately needed, and I'm very glad they're doing it, but dang, it's a pain. So, I've been gradually taking things out of here into the living room. So that when they do show up, you won't have to run around like crazy people. But meanwhile, I need at least some temporary uh, creativity. So, totally and completely wackadoodle. So, got the, the teal blue candlestick, and I've now put some black acrylic paint on it and now I'm going to test drive <laughs> some of this baroque bronze and uh, see how it goes. <laughs> yeah. And here again I'm just playing with it and finger painting and whatnot. This is a good high quality paint so it's a little bit goes a long way and by high quality I mean there's a lot of the pigment the cool color in it so you, you don't have to use a whole bunch to get a good effect yep see do 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 yeah, I think that actually will come out pretty nifty if you can see what I've done so far. Not a whole lot, but <laughs> I'm just getting started. Sir. So, it actually is looking a lot nicer on the candlestick than it was looking on my test patch on my cupboard here. So that's a good sign. That's what it looked on the test patch. I was kind of like, well, you know, maybe I should think twice about using this on, you know, when I paint or repaint. When I paint the cabinet, I should say. Is it repaint? I haven't painted it yet. It's, uh, I'm going to paint it with chalk paint. I very much love chalk paint. I'm going to prime it first, though, because for one thing, this is fur, and I don't want any bleed through. And for another thing, yeah. <laughs> uh, this poor thing has seen better days, and so primer can help. It's got these huge gouges in it. And there's a story behind that. My neighbor literally lives right across the hall from me in my apartment complex asked me if I wanted this, and she said I could have it totally for free. And I was like, yeah, that's really cool. I def def definitely want it. But, I'm pretty explain, I couldn't fetch it right then because it's too heavy for one person. And my neighbor is uh, kind of sickly, so I didn't want her trying to move it. And I just meant I couldn't fetch it right then, as in I had to wait for Harry to get off work and come home and help me. But she didn't understand that, and so she thought I meant, like, I can't have it now, maybe next week, and she was in a hurry to get rid of it, so she and a friend of hers <laughs> put the thing out to the trash building where we have our trash and recycle, and of course I was horrified when I found that out, and I was like, no, 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 I want it. So then Harry and I had to go <laughs> fetch it back from the trash building. <laughs> and it wasn't banged up, which is actually totally okay because, for one thing, if it was too shiny and new looking, I would have to worry about, oh, what if I muss it up? But, you know, it's banged up already, so I don't have to worry. Well, in that sense, it's just as well. But, Lord knows what the other neighbors thought of us <laughs> carrying the same pieces of furniture back and forth. And,
but we got the misunderstanding straightened out and I am extremely happy with this cupboard because it gives me a place to put my art supplies and I was desperately in need of I could put things away and it's a good height if I'm standing and doing something but also works well with a chair if it's like a bar stool kind of chair. Okay, a little bit more here. And as you can see, I'm doing this very, very rough. Oh yeah. Ooh hoo hoo hoo. Let's spread it around. Hmm. And I have to say that I am yeah, now I'm quite pleased. It does indeed look like uh yeah, antique bronze, just like it's supposed to. So, no, I am happy. Because, well, as I mentioned here on the cupboard, let's see, I can turn this camera a wee bit. I'm going to paint the cupboard this kind of lime green. It's called green tea. And, uh, and then also use some khaki right here. And this primer, of course. No, I don't get any uh, kickback from Authentico for uh, having their uh, product in the video or anything like that. It's just uh, happens to be what I'm using. And I've been very happy with the quality. There's probably other brands that are just as good, but you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So. And I also have their uh, vintage uh, bronze highlight, so it'll be lime green. Pick out the details with the khaki and then with the bronze. Because as you can see, we have. Uh, well, can't see it that well. So we've got knobs and we've got bits and bobs, so to speak. Knobs and bits and bobs. And so they will look nice when they're different colors and, and show it off a little bit. Mm -hmm. Ah, I go up a bit and you can see what I mean about. <laughs> yeah. Here's the knobs. Here's the bits and bobs. There's a little railing here and you can actually have a shelf in the middle but I have all these tall things here so I don't have the shelf there. Oy, oy, oy. And then when everything is all spiffed up and looking super nice that will be a very good time for, uh, oh, for when it's uh, moved back in here and we have the new floor and the new wallpaper and I painted up my cupboard to look cool and I will be a very happy Aaron. Let's just put it that way. So, and hold this up a little closer. Like I said, it's very, very uh, sloppy. This is quick drying, but even so, I'm going to let it sit a little bit. And, hmm, I may put some uh, some more black on here inside the creases or whatever you want to call them. But not sure. That, that's one of the good things about putting things down and not just like letting the paint dry, but it also gives you a chance to uh, ponder the matter, to go away, and then come back to look at it say an hour later with fresh eyes. <laughs> 